Audio test. Audio test. Okay, sounds good. Delay. Okay, I forgot to change the thing again, so there's probably going to be a little bit of delay. At least I think I did. Let me see. Stream? No, the stream is set to rescale. Okay, and YouTube's not giving me a, a warning here. Let's see. What what is this delay? What what is this delay? Testing. What what is this delay? Testing. Okay, so it's not too bad. Um, Voyager, Scar, Mark to Chief, Greg, how's it going? Hope you have your buckets ready. Motion sickness incoming. Yeah. Uh, let me know if this fan in the background is adding too much uh, noise to the mic. I just have it on low just to get some air flowing in the room. Ranger, how's it going? MF, Lord Bane, here for the casual gameplay. Oh, you're going to see ultra casual gameplay today. So uh, I already have the Gorn uh, ship. Um, I traded a couple of my T6 coupons for it. And... I, I flew it around and yeah, it, it legitimately like it, it's it's a very small ship and it it's sort of. You do get sort of sick, like flying it, because when you're sitting still, you know, it's it's fine. OK, you know, this this is it sitting still, whatever. Now, as soon as I go full forward here. This is the constant experience you have of flying the ship. This is horrendous. This is the experience of flying the ship. Have I put the Borg rep set on it yet? Uh, no, I have not, but I have heard that it's like really laughable. So let me see. I think I have that set on this character. It's always a fun set to have on. Yeah, so it it turns the ship into a really Borgified thing. Let me stop moving so we can see it. Like, I think it looks neat with the Borg stuff on. The deflector, you know, it's jammed right in the middle there. But, um, but yeah, this, this thing just spins back and forth. And honestly, the, the, the ship is like the ship itself to me is ruined because of this. But that's just me. Some of you may not have an issue with that. So the the Gorn Hunter does come with these brand new plasma quad cannons. Um, these have a 5% chance on them to apply a minus 30 dot uh, or minus 30 damage over time, damage resistance debuff to foes. So they would take more damage from the dot. Um, the experimental weapon is actually it's a shotgun, but it is actually single target. And it does work well with the trait, like I talked about in the stats breakdown. You like how it looks with the Ferenginar plasma cannons? The console, I haven't like even tested the, the clicky of it on, but the passives are pretty good. So there's a couple of things I haven't checked yet. Um, the the experimental weapon, I want to see, is that boosted by the plasma attack consoles? Uh, no impact there from me removing one. A courier too, but the difference is this, this one has multiple pieces on it that are good. Like the console off of this thing is going to be very popular for some people. 
the experimental weapons fine, the quad cannons are fine, and the starship trait is actually really good. Um, the the starship trait is also really broken right now when you use it with fire at will. And I did record a video of this last night. Um, basically, with fire at will, the trait is completely busted right now, and every single shot will apply a stack of the, the trait. So with fire at will, every weapon firing is two stacks. Um, and that means that against a single target, you can get up to 100 stacks of the trait on a target in just a matter of seconds. So that, from what I understand, has been reported and will be fixed. So I'm not going to look at the performance of this with fire at will. Rather, I will be messing around with it on a CSV build because under CSV, beam overload, rapid fire, and everything that isn't fire will, it is working fine. It's just specifically that this new Starship trait, the complex plasma fires, is busted with fire at will. Experimental weapon hits hard? Yeah. I've had good results from it so far. Um, I set this thing up and it looks like the loadout. It looks like it just completely lost my tray. Um, and there was a question that some had about whether, whether or not um, like plasma torpedoes could trigger the starship trait. And from the testing I've did, it, it, the answer seems to be yes. But when I fired a volley of Romulan hyperplasmas at a target, each like salvo of three only applied a total of one stack to a target. So if you're wanting to maximize this complex plasma fire straight, it's looking like just full plasma energy weapons on your build would be the way to go. Voyager, how's it going? Ranger, I know. Terrible, isn't it? I don't want to abuse something. I know. I can't believe it either. It's my display capture on. Okay, let me pull up a parser here. At least they fixed, or yeah, kinda, yeah. I did a Leviathan last night also with a non-pug team, and we got through it in like six minutes. I mean, that was still real sloppy, so I've got footage at least for, for when I want to go through and get that uh, like walkthrough put together. Okay, I need another plasma cannon. Is I, I'm not going to run a torp right now. Okay, I need to go over to my character and pop another Viridian cannon over, it looks like. I don't suppose I have another dual heavy. Looks like I just have dual cannons here. That's fine. Yeah, I think it would be good. It'd be wise on their part to give us a way to turn the spinning off. For for some people, it's no issue. But for others, yeah, it just makes it very, very difficult. You know what, while I'm 
Actually, wait, I had plasma cannons right here. There we go. Even better. I've already got some plasma, normal plasmas upgraded. Uh, but before I get too far into things, I do want to just go get this uh, endeavor done to the universal. Takes like a minute to do, so I'm going to head over and do that quick. Some people are fidget enthusiasts. Yeah, I saw someone post a like a fidget spinner on Reddit that was made of titanium and ruby or something the other day, and they were like, oh yeah, this was 1600. I'm like, what? Like, who'd pay that for that? How rare for Cryptic to fix something for it to be broken in another way? I know. Okay. Now I just have to, like, find one or two Epos here and scan them. This is what the Universal Endeavor is right now, is this EPO tagging thing. Oh, and fun fact, if you have the, the cat thing here, it makes it quite a bit easier because you can move around, find them faster. You don't really have to scan many, like just scanning a handful would be enough for this, so... This is... Don't you want an Epo friend? Oh no. Yeah, but if I AFK it, I'll have people complain. Zoom out all the way and put a post-it note over your monitor. Terrible. Okay, so just to wait here now for 18 seconds and then the Universal Endeavor is done. Is it worth it to use a VPN? I mean, I, I think in the, the current age, it's always good to have a VPN on hand to, to be able to use as needed. That's just me. Like, sometimes I have found in the past where I'll have, like, some weird connection issue to the game, and just turning a VPN on, you know, lets me bypass that. So, I mean, it can get you a different route to the server, potentially. It's up to you if you want to mess around with stuff like that, though. Like, if you have a, a bad, like, somewhere on the route between you and the server is messing up, you can toggle the, the VPN on and just go through an alternate route. Oh, terrible, Ed. Terrible. Good to go. Actually, I don't even need this here. I need this to be a pilot. Yep, that's fine. I don't feel like changing the rest of this. Save it. I had set the uh, bridge officer layout up the other day on the... Or I, I had, but it, like, it's reset. You guys know how this goes. Remember if you're using fly her part to not spam bar it, because if you spam bar it, it, uh, it does ha it is a toggle, so you can, like, actually end up turning it off. MAS isn't doing anything for me right now. Let's just drop that for... Oh yeah, let's let's get even more speed on this ship. And ox to dampeners? Oh yeah. 
constant server disconnect since the last patch. Sometimes that happens, unfortunately, and that type of stuff can, can be out of our hands. I mean, you can try using a VPN. Um, if you don't have a VPN, my personal recommendation would be like probably something like Windscribe. Um, NordVPN, you know, is also pretty good. I, I've been using Windscribe uh, for the past several years and I've never had an issue with them. Yeah, that is true. I could do the Ultimate Omni, but it wouldn't fit in with the theme. Let's see. Realistically, I'm going to be flying this ship for like the next 30 minutes, and then I'm just going to move over to probably the Mogai, which I have a... Uh, plasma build set up on but i at least you know if, if i've got the stream titled after this ship i need to at least fly this ship for a little bit of the stream and then i can swap over to the mogai and test out the secondary components a little bit more yeah i don't i i I leveled this thing up the other day and I just don't like it. This isn't for me. This question about a VPN, any good one you can point out? I, like I said, I use Windscribe. Um, I haven't had any issues with them, personally. I'll, I'll show them up on screen right now. Um, I haven't had any issues with Windscribe, and I've been using it now for the, the, the past couple of years. I got lucky. I bought a lifetime membership to them, uh, one of their lifetime pro memberships, probably three or four years ago. And they've like they've continued to honor it. And their company has grown. They, they've got a fairly active Discord, and... Every now and then they still have deals. They don't have the, the lifetime anymore. That was just in their early days, but um like it, it they still have pretty good service, pretty good options. And I think they even have like a free option. Let's see the bridge. There is no this this is a lockbox ship. They don't do bridges for these anymore. It's literally the the default. Or so it's a Klingon ship, so it's defaulting to the default Klingon interior. Yeah, the ultimate Omni. I should use the ultimate Omni. Yes, I should. I should. Okay, I'll put it on. Got a bunch of random plasma stuff on too, so I'm just gonna leave the rest as is. There you go. Rob, how's it going, man? Okay, so I need to destroy Herald ships. Have is my daily up? Not for an hour. Okay, time for a wanted Argala on Elite here. Let me make sure, do I have the trade on from this ship? That would probably be a good idea. Drop Ruin for Complex Plasma Fires. Here we go. Wanted Argala Elite. Alan, how's it going? High tower. That's yeah, going good so far. Other than Amazon losing an order that I placed. They're replacing it, thankfully. I wish these enemies would stay close together sometimes. Uh, you can see I build stacks up fairly fast on these targets, like... Matt, 
10 stacks of complex plasma fires on this target. 12. Why did I turn that on? This fucking keep me in red alert. You haven't. Looks like our fight got them to notice us. Let's go over and have their claws might come out behind. Hard to pilot because it's so small. You will stand down and surrender to the Like it's so small, like the chemo side and all that just makes it so hard to see the ship. I hate when you're stuck in situations like this with the ship where it's so small that you can't see things. Like, you can't see the ship. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. Thank you for your assistance, and welcome to this sector. Uh, what is that green spread? So that green spread is prob probably the experimental weapon. Um, so to, to continue testing this, I'm going to go over to Tribble, um, because I think shooting static targets with the various things on this would probably just be more beneficial to show you guys what exactly is going on. Um, so I'm going to pop triple open here and head over there. Bridger has a gun. Been working on an EPG build the last few weeks. Um, yeah, w with any of that EPG stuff too, I'd highly recommend anyone looking at EPG builds takes a look at the, the builds discord. We have a very extensive EPG section that has quite a bit of discussion going over the various things in that play style. Um, so let me pop Tribble open now. Um, and again, the new trait off of the ship, the Complex Plasma Fires, is completely busted under Fire at Will. Um, with Fire at Will, the trait applies for every single shot out. And it's only supposed to do it once per cycle. So for purposes of like uploading DPS runs, um, if you have a run where you use fire at will with this new trait, your upload will be invalid. Hollow emitter time, yeah. Slyness, that's gone. Wow, how weird something is broken. I know, I can't believe it. A ship release that has something broken with it? I can't. That that, that never happens. Stream sponsored by Drama Mine. Okay. No idea what you're talking about. Okay, so over on Tribble, I've got the, the Mogai set up with um, the, the trait and the experimental weapon. And I will take a look at these. Godel, thank you for the uh, sub there. Yeah, the test map on live would be very nice.
Let me toss like uh I have graviton on me. Let me get these things grouped up quick and then we'll proceed. Get them grouped up at the front there. Waldo has a gun. That just from Graviton just drastically made that so much worse. Oh no. Graviton did not work the way I was hoping it would. Yeah, that, that'll be good enough. Now let me put this uh, console back on. Yeah, I know, Ranger. Okay, so you guys want to see the experimental weapon visuals, I imagine. So let me... A UI still isn't the right size. Let me get this a little bit smaller. Yeah, that was that was bad. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I hate that Windows 11 snapping stuff. It, it sometimes just doesn't go away. You have to hit the, the Windows key. OK, so. Let me get this over to the right folder. Logs, game client, combat log. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, I'm going to just go a little bit back from these guys, and then I'm going to hit um, fire will and just show you guys how this trait works under under five. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> Now, if I go through these targets, you'll see this one has 64 stacks, 48, 75, 43, 56. So every single shot out that I did, basically every single shot was like two procs per shot. And this this trait is not supposed to work like that. This trait is supposed to be a per cycle proc so once every weapon cycles so like once every four to five seconds it would apply a stack of this and with fire at will the trait off of the gorn ship is very much bugged and will apply multiple multiple stacks um per shot yeah plasma emitters yeah, so there's also an issue in some cases where it looks like this trait can damage you. Brilliant. Thank you for the membership. If you spin the NPCs while on the going ship, it equals it out. Oh, no. Ian, how's it going? Yeah, so the, the red crit on my ship was because this trait also has a bug where it seems it can damage you and, like, apply some dots to you sometimes. Not sure what that's about. Again, uh, Karelian there, thank you for the, uh, the casual membership. I don't think that's ever going to happen to Voyager. So this trait scales up with weapon power. Um, with me at 125, you see it says 110. If I take this down to as low as it goes, you see it. It can heavily drop off here. So you definitely want your weapon power cranked all the way up if you are using this trait. Alpha, how's it going? It's going going well so far. 
this trait. So let's let's see if this is what all this is being uh, buffed by. Let me take a picture. And this is let, let's see first. Is it buffed by tack consoles? So if I take one console off and I go back and look at the trait, removing that tack console did not impact it at all. So your plasma tack consoles. Don't do anything for it. The let, now let me see what else I have here. Plasma. I want to see if the uh, plus plasma buff from some of these consoles affects it. So spinal mount plasma torpedo. That does buff it up. So. Before it was at 110, now it's at 118. Let's see what else? I don't think I have a ton of plasma buffs on this character. Here's one I'm curious about. Is it buffed by the three piece or the not the three piece, the two piece between the DPRM and the uh the point defense bombardment warhead? Because that buffs plasma damage there. Inventory full of pieces. That two piece does not impact that proc. Okay. Does Fakiri boost its damage? I'll take a look here in a second. I've already, or I don't have that slotted. I thought I did. Um, so let me put the point defense back on. The issue over on Tribble is that your um you don't get all your inventory space, so that's the, the issue I'm having right there. Okay, does the Fakiri console buff it? I, I mean, the Fakiri console should. The, the Torment engine. Because this buffs uh, plasma, and it's also supposed to buff dots, so... Yeah, that's a pretty substantial buff. Um, you would definitely want to be using the Fakiri console with this trait because my I'm guessing it's probably like double double dip in it. It's probably getting the buff from the plasma, and then it's probably getting the uh I don't know if this would count as like a hazard dot or not. But the, this, you know, could be double dipping off of that. Uh, Dan, I just, well, I'm just showing off the, the, the trait and all that right now on the uh, test server. So it's not like a real, like full build right now. This is more just me looking to see what all is buffing this trait. So we'll leave these numbers up now. And I'm curious to see dot wise, if this is buffed by the temporal two piece. So I think I have that on this character. I do not. Okay, I'm going to need to leave the test map for a minute then. Thankfully, I am on the test server, which means I can get as much E seed, lithium, and whatever as I need. Apparently, my inventory is too full to pick up any items, so that's just lovely. Uh, what can I salvage here? Just a couple slots. Okay. Temporal. And I want to grab the temporal uh, shield and core. Need the singularity core. Twenty six forty seven, yeah. 
So 21, 26, and 31 would be good ones to test with this. And I think I have all of them on this character. I'm on Tribble, so thankfully all of these projects complete after 10 seconds. One of the benefits of using the, the test server. It'd be hilarious if, em if Embassy Plasma Consoles became useful again. Yeah, that would be funny. Um, I can't test that on Tribble, but I can, when I hop back over to, to live, I can just grab one. Is the plasma boosted by EPG? It's not supposed to be. I don't, Dark Eddie, I don't think, I mean, I could be wrong. I, I thought that was only if you were too close when like a plasma torp landed that the dot would hit you. I like, it shouldn't be guaranteed. Yep, map is loaded. Just re verify the trait numbers. They're still the same 141.1. One, one. If I slot this two piece in, there's the shield and the singularity core. This two piece provides a 25% buff to all damage over time and hazard effects. So in theory, it should buff it. And indeed it does. We go from 141 up to 152. So is this boosted by EPG? Let me find something here that has EPG on it that I can plot on. I got so many consoles, I don't remember which one's going to have that buff on it. Here's one, opening salvo. Opening salvo should not buff it. Doesn't look like it did. No, EPG did not have any effect on it. Which goes along with what, what it said in the blog, is that it's not supposed to be boosted by EPG, and if it was, it would list that it was affected by it here. Um. So yeah, the, the next one to, to take a look at, so let me take this picture now, and let me get an enemy in here. Just do test dummy, single test dummy works. I need to test then the board doffs that buff dots. So that is 26, like was mentioned. 26 has a chance uh, when you hit tack abilities to improve damage over time effects by 50%. So I'm going to put a 26 on. Do I have a 31 on this character? I do not. Do I have a 21? Yes, I do. Okay, so I've got two of them at least that I can test here. 21, when I hit engineering abilities, has a chance to give me a dot buff. And then 26 is the tack version, and 31 would be the psi. So let me go back to that trait here, and let's see if the, the numbers go up when I you know hit any random abilities here. So okay, there's one proc that did indeed buff it. We went from 152 up to 171. So pretty good boost right there from that Borgdorf going off. Okay. 
Yeah. I mean, clearly the Borg Doffs are impacting it. So if you're using... If you're using this trait, it would probably be wise to, to look at um, getting some of those Borg Doffs that buff dots. Um, again, that is... 26, uh, 21, and 31. I'm going to go see what those are on the exchange real quick on live. 26 has been shooting up a fair bit, and to be fair, like... 26 is probably one of the more underrated Borg Doffs. Yeah, so 26 right now is 255 mil, 21, 65... And 31's going to be expensive, because 31's like a known meta Psy one. Yeah, 31's 320. So, the, if you're getting the ship, or you want to mess around with the trade off of it, I would highly recommend at least grabbing a 21. They're, they're fairly cheap, and 21's the version that gives you a dot buff, or has a chance to, when you, uh, when you hit engineering abilities. So, that one is pretty cheap. Um, so currently, Jay, I can tell you that this Game Freaks did a lot of testing with this the other day, and the conclusion he came to, and I agree with his conclusion, is basically if you are in a situation where targets are able to live more than one firing cycle, this is really good for plasma. Um, if you're in a situation where targets die in one one firing cycle, then plasma dis or sorry disruptor and phaser, you know, are still better. But in a long duration in combat, I think this, I think this would probably be a really good pick. Okay, so that's that's uh, enough for the trait for right now. Let's see the experimental weapon. Um, and I will be recapping all of the testing data in the review that I do for this ship, so stay tuned for that, probably sometime next week. Here's the experimental weapon. And I want to show you guys that this does only work against a single target, so I'm going to... Configure the test dummies here to bring in the other four. Then I'm going to group them up again. And I'm going to get my ship positioned in a way that it, you know, in theory you would think it would be able to hit multiple targets, and you'll see that it, it can't. Okay, so, so my, my ship, like, if I'm firing a shotgun-type effect out, you would think I would at least be able to hit... So, t number one is the target, but you would think I would also be able to hit three and two. Now, let's see which of them that I hit when I fire this. So, while the effect literally goes through some of the other ones, it will only damage your target. And if I target three... The shot goes right through one to hit three. So while it's a shotgun visual, it's not actually a shotgun. It, it, the, the pellets will go through other targets, but only damage your actual like marked target. I'm not aware of it being bugged. That's I, I think that's just how they designed it. And if you have a firing mode active and you fire it, then it will apply stacks of the trait. Why didn't it apply stacks of the trait? Why is it not working? I don't know why it's not applying stacks of the trait here. Uh, 
That's just weird to me. Yeah, it's just not applying any stacks of the trait, even while other weapons are able to. That's weird. I don't know why it's uh, not, not working with the trait right now. So yeah, I think it's safe to say the experimental weapon uh, currently is broken. Also, the uh, the stacks of the trait that are on a target will refresh. So every time you apply a new stack to a target, it refreshes the duration of all the stacks. And I'll show you that here. Um, so you can see the timer. Well, it's, it's really small, so let me zoom in the HUD here. Uh, let's go to like 1.6. So you see that there's a stack of the, the, the trait on the target right now got five seconds left and if I fire another weapon there's now two stacks and you see here a couple seconds in I didn't lose that first stack so the stacks are actually refreshing in duration every time you apply a new stack to the target what buffs the experimental weapon um not plasma consoles from what I saw earlier but let me Get this UI back down to something usable. Okay, so the experimental weapon here. Let me pop it open on the side. What's the name of it? Plasma incendiary bomb. If I take the plasma console off, no effect. If I take the Fakuri Torment engine off, my inventory is full. Hold on. Okay, if I take the Fakuri off, what does this do? So the Fakuri does buff it. Does the spinal mount? The spinal mount buffs it. So it's buffed by general plasma buffs, but not the plasma energy weapon specific ones. Lino, how's it going? If you if you need any help with like build stuff, Lino, I would say uh, definitely check out the the builds Discord. And so better has some really good beginner guides too. If you're having a bit of a headache trying to figure some things out, so better is a really great resource. They've got a really, really good set of guides over there. Um, the stacks also get applied to you randomly, yeah. Oh no, um, so plasma tr uh, plasma torps can actually proc the, the trait. So I have the Romulan hyperplasma here, and do I have another plasma torp? Yeah, here's just a random, like a random, like Mark VI plasma torp. Um, if I, if I have even cannon scatter volley active and I fire this at the target, it applies a stack of the trait. If I fire the hyperplasma, it'll apply another stack of the trait. So plasma torps can trigger this trait. It's just that the the experimental weapon for whatever reason is not able to. Yeah, Stowe is, once you, if you really dive into things, Stowe can get very, very complex. Um, let's see here. So that pretty much sums up the, the experimental weapon is somewhat busted right now and 
Can it fire from cloak? That was something someone did ask me. So let me go into cloak here. Yeah, I mean, from enhanced battle cloak, this can fire. So if you're looking for another experimental weapon to, to use with a ship with like an EBC, you can do that. It fully works with enhanced battle cloak. Like I'm still cloaked and it let me fire. It just doesn't apply stacks of the, the trait to the target. And as you can see, firing the three hyperplasma only applied one one stack of the uh, trait there. Let me see what happens under Torp Spread. So with Torp Spread of the Hyperplasma, they each got just one stack of the trait. Let me swap this over to a high yield. It looks like that just applied one stack again. So, is there anything else with the, the trait experimental weapon you guys want me to test? Because um, there's clearly some broken things right now. The the console, I haven't tested. I guess you can see how long it takes for that to arrive to targets. Let's say I'm like seven kilometers away from the target. And I fire this. Okay, so it's got that visual when the targets are lured. And then once I get close, it goes off and does that small bit of damage. I don't foresee that being too useful. Um... You know, it knocked their shields off for a couple seconds. I don't think in general play you'd get too much use out of it, but there might be some niche environments where that's useful. And supposedly you can fire this thing from like really far away. So let's see, like I can, I'll f I want to see exactly how far away I can get before this thing just doesn't let me fire it. Twenty kilometers away. You want to see how it does point blank? I'll, I'll see you. I'll do that after I do this. I want to see what it's like, you know, from from this distance. Ship is under attack. Ten seconds to like fire it. Um, I would keep the Maelstrom on. I want to see how long this takes to get over there. That didn't take too, like, too terribly long for the distance. I wonder, can I stack it? So you see the, oh no, it's got a timer on it. So you have like 30 seconds once it's landed to, to get over there and trigger it. Okay. Um, well, it doesn't do any damage until you get within five kilometers, so probably not. Honestly, this is probably, with how this works, this could probably be like a meta... ISE console for, for high-end runs, unfortunately.
or for like a, a torp run especially because you could use this launch these at the start maybe and have the, the debuff applied to the the enemies at the start have their shields already off when you go over there and, and engage like that could be really good it's not weird it's cryptic terrible So let's see how it does point blank here. Point blank, it went off pretty fast. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it for the testing of the, the secondary items. Like, I think the consoles actually sort of sort of nice the the experimental weapons clearly got some issues and the uh well the the starship trait yeah it's just busted would multiple players be able to stack them probably if that you know if that's the case that's that has the potential to be pretty nice so I'm going to go into a solo ISE real quick. I'm going to get absolutely slammed to be clear, but I just want to see how this uh, how this goes. In the meantime, I'll tell you guys a story. Right after I did the uh, the stream the other day, the the microphone mount or the the mic arm that I use broke right after that stream I did on Tuesday. The uh, these plastic pieces here held the silver rod in place with that little detent there, and it held it to the the mic arm. Well. I had grabbed the mic by the, the shock mount to, to push it over to the side after the stream, and the, the plastic holding that in place just completely shattered. So for, for right now, what I've done is I've just uh I've just went with the zip tie route. <laughs> the the mic is zip tied to the arm. I've already got a replacement coming for that plastic part, but it's probably gonna be like a week. Gotta stop rocking out, I know. Okay, if I fire this console off right here, does it get them, you know, ticked off? Nope. Also, I'm literally, I'm going to die. Like, I don't have the right build for this. And the trait did, did not go off. Nothing has the dot on it. That's weird. So much worse when chemocyte is on. Look at the uh, the burn it's got going on right now too. You can't even see the ship. Resistance is futile. Wow. Wow, Cheops. 
I don't think the cooling system I got going on is too bad right now. It is a bit messy, though. I have this this really long tube run from the CPU over to the reservoir because I couldn't like hook up my top radiator until I had screws for it. So um, I got those screws now, but now I'm waiting for another order, which will be here Monday. And then I'm going to drain the loop, uh, remove this this run here that goes from the CPU to the reservoir. And then I'm going to hook up that top rad and get things cleaned up a bit. And just find somewhere to incorporate the the temp sensors. It's not not that bad. Uh, Tribble, as far as I'm aware, should be up to date with the latest update. Uh, Minecraft server. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know Voyager. Intriguing. How's it going, man? Less spends, the better. I like to, I'm, I've got lots of fittings that I can use. What I'm trying to do, trying to figure out right now, is this run that I have from the back of my GPU to the CPU, I, I'm not sure how reliable these XSPC fittings are. I've seen some people making comments online that they're maybe not the most reliable, so I'm probably going to redo this this run here. I have a bunch of bits power fittings coming in, so I have a few different options. No. One is probably fine. All of them, yeah. Okay, so the starship trait is slotted. Complex plasma fires. I have the Fekiri Farment Engine on. Got the Experimental Weapon on. And I'm going to put the Disco 3 piece on because that's really good in lower difficulty content, especially on a CSV build like this. I'm going to remove the Spinal Mount Plasma Torpedo, which is giving me a plasma buff because the, the clicky on it just really isn't that good. Um. If only I could fit the the torp on for for this set, but okay. So let me ninety bends add flow resistance. Yeah, dude, go hard line. I've got some some black um, black chrome brass tubing that I can use. I just, I, I, I'm waiting for the tear down. Terrible. Okay. Is it time for me to do my daily yet? 15 minutes. Well, I'm going to do one of the new patrols anyways. Let's go normal difficulty. Jupiter gauntlet, normal, normal. I'm not too worried about flow resistance. I've got dual D5s in there, so you can always pump those up if needed. The recent conflict. Enemy ships warping in near projection. I don't have EPT or the uh evasive on my tray. Nor brace for impact. Ethereum.
Yeah, they're cleaning the, uh, the dot off. Computer in simulation. Excellent work. We'll analyze the data from this I think the quad cannons are pretty good if you're running the trade and you're running the plasma setup because if that proc does actually go off that is actually actively doing something for you um, by making all of the other dots and making the trait just you know that much more potent your inge is t5 reps tomorrow terrible I know you guys just like the the visuals of this. this. What what's going on with the camera here? They screwed the camera up. So when you look at the ship from the front, it's really far away. But as soon as you go towards the back of the ship, it just like you can't zoom out. Like I can't this I, I literally cannot zoom out right now. Like, I, I, I'm not near things. Is that fixed? Did that fix it? It looks like it did. Okay. That was just a temporary bug. Interesting. Can you get a fleet ship without being in a fleet? Uh, y no, you have to join a fleet, but thankfully, Lino, there are, uh, there are fleets that you can join that will just let you grab a ship and then leave again if you want. But just keep in mind that fleet ships do cost uh, fleet credits and fleet ship modules. And the fleet ship modules you can get without being in a fleet, but the fleet credits means you will have to donate something to a fleet to, to get those credits. I know, Ginger Us, I know. Still don't have UI audio after verifying files. Yeah, this this thing, I couldn't imagine being inside this thing. The art team does really good work, yeah. Yeah, that's possible. Let's do it again. Um, I think there are commands, Dan, for, for, like, targeting targets in your forward, like, 90 degree arc. Um, I don't use them, though. Yes, that'll I agree. Excellent work. We'll analyze the data from this event and use it to build a new tactical defense protocol for Jupiter Station. Well, Thank if you're on PC, there are some fleets that basically just don't have any social presence. So, um, like my fleet, the Breakfast Club, I don't really ever promote it, but um, we are a fully built out fleet that has everything unlocked and there's no social requirement that there we don't talk in the fleet chat we don't really do much on discord 
Um, it's basically a place for, for people that want to be in a built out fleet, but don't want to deal with the social aspect of being in a fleet. Like I, 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 I've dealt with really social fleets before and I just, I can't be bothered with that stuff anymore. <laughs> Axel, how's it going? Most fleets I've noticed are pretty quiet. Yeah, I mean, fleets, to be honest, I know this This is my uh, back-in-my-day moment, but um, back before Delta Rising, fleets were really active. After Delta Rising, fleets basically, the social side largely died out from those fleets. Yeah, uh, if you can drop your, at hand, your, your character name and at handle in chat or in my Discord and ask for, for an invite on the Fed or KDF side, we'll get you sorted out. Is there a huge performance difference between the Delkina and the Tapa? Gotta look up what the Tapa is, because I don't even know what you're referring to there. Uh, Cardassian, the Tapa, Intel Escort. I mean, I get where the, the similarities are coming from. The, the Delkina is definitely a better ship, though. The Delkina has a full Commander Command plus Lieutenant Commander Intel. The Datapa has a Commander Intel plus Ensign Intel, so... The, the Delkina just has more flexibility. Vapor, how's it going? Yeah, McStud's fleet is basically set up the same way as TBC. I, I went through and changed a lot of the permissions over there to, to make it um, what I consider like self, self-reliant. Yeah, indeed, Godel. And then them, them killing off XMPP also certainly did not help. Because that at least gave people a way to interact with the, the communities all the time. And now Discord fills that role. But even then, like, it's not the same as it was. Okay, I want to do a Leviathan with a coordinated team. Actually, maybe stall this out for just a couple minutes. Oh, no, no, I should be fine. Um, So, yeah, my, my daily ends in, or will be back up in six minutes. So I need three people to do the Leviathan TFO. I need your at handles if you're interested in joining. Captain Wallace, how's it going, man? I need to, I just reinstalled Windows. I need to get reshade set back up because I wanted to try out that. I'd seen you talking about um, something a couple months ago about like ray tracing or uh, some new stuff you were working on there. Sounds sort of interesting. Make the game look all nice and uh, sharp. Gotcha. I haven't done the mission yet. Um, I'll get it done here in the next couple days, but I've just been busy. Um, and just it hasn't been my top priority. I've been getting a few comments recently from, from people that, that like, they, they don't get how I can like the game and not follow the storyline. And it's, you know, I've said this for a long time, you know, there's many different reasons to play the game. I don't play this game for the storyline. The last time I actively, like, followed the storyline was the Iconian War. Um, you know, I, I can still enjoy the game without, you know, the that story side of it. I like the, the combat mechanics. I, I like flying the ships around. You know, it's a big draw to this game, and that that's where I get most of my enjoyment from it. Terrible. 
Okay, again, I've got room for three people to do a Leviathan TFO. Um, this is the new one where it's got the three lanes. So if you guys want to do it with a more in a more coordinated environment than a pug run, uh, drop your handles down below. Mark your chief wants in two more. I'm going to just do this as a private, so. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. There's just some parts that can't be fixed. Yeah, the, the ship came with the name George, and I just thought it was great. Wraith. Okay, one more slot. Terrible Voyager. Uh, Linux. Yeah, I'll get you an invite then to my... Is this a... Is this a uh, Fed character? ADF? So, like, um, you know, if you... Your full at handle would be, like your character name and then the at handle. So for me, that's that's casual sab at Spencer B96. Um, the the Linux there would be your at handle. Just need your character name done for an invite. Okay, Mark the Chief, you're in game. Okay, yeah, then I'll get you after this uh, TFO. New space set ain't too shabby. I think the two-piece certainly looks interesting. The, the, the Tholian crystals, I need to see some more data from them um, to see how, you know, they actually perform. I haven't seen any, like, hard numbers yet. Um... I don't see anyone without an at handle in the game right now. Let me hold on. Yeah, it says you're not online. Yeah, we need one more for this TFO. Mark, you want in? Fair bit? Okay. Do I have you on my friends list? I, I honestly have so many people on my friends list, I don't remember who I have there, who I don't. Is everyone good to go? Yeah, I'll get I'll get the set at the end of the month. I'm uh, I I can't justify putting money in to buy the sets out. That's just one thing I I personally can't justify. You know that that's the cost of you know a full AAA game. Wagers always ready. Uh, Mark, you ready? Okay, and Voyager's all right, always ready, so here we go. Just remember to split up into the different lanes here. Um, what do we have? I'll take the center lane, then... Then just go like two left, two right. I'll just just call it out in chat. Two left, two right, one center. Uh, I can take the center. 
This thing is so small. Look at it compared to these other ships. It's crazy. Kirk at Linux 11.26? Okay. I'll get you after this. Just don't sit in the center of these areas, otherwise this torp will kill you. Osiris, how's it going? Oh, the, the secondaries from it are really good. I mean, it's not a bad ship, to to be perfectly clear. Like, it, it's a solid ship. It's just the the visuals of it really just kill it, I think, for, for a lot of people. It's just a matter of going back and forth here. Yeah, my fleet is the Breakfast Club, yes. And one more here. Wait. One of your allies has escaped successfully. Enemy dreadnought on escape vector in the left lane. One of your allies has escaped successfully. Make sure to get these guys off the side too. It's extra marks from this.
yeah, if you have a good team, this thing can be done in like six minutes. If you have a bad team, it's going to be frustrating. Yeah, I'm going a bit slow here. And now it's time for the bosses. Got a fair bit of marks there. We missed a couple things here and there, but I mean, that was five and a half minutes, so that was a really fast run. Thank you all for that. And my daily is available to collect now, so let me grab this. There we go. 292 marks out of that. Um, the thing with Stuka, the, the thing with Beam Overload is it can literally go on every ship. So, you can do it on a size ship. I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend Cannon Scatter Volley for, for a size ship, if possible, but... I mean, you can do Beam Overload if that's what you want to do. The the trait is pretty good. Um, the trade off this thing is pretty pretty solid so far. I mean, it's clearly busted under fire at will, but for for me here, I mean, it did okay. I think in content where things can live longer, it would have done you know a lot more, obviously. Um, but it is being impacted by my crit chance also. They they. Talked about it not dealing with crit much, but it actually is benefiting from uh, crit chance, it looks like. What's the max? Oh, yeah, it's it's benefiting from crit. That's nice. Okay. Um, need to get invite done. How effortless he flies. It's all practice. Flying in this game is all entirely practice. Okay. Oh, John, you got him? Okay. There you go. Okay, you're, you're in. There you go. And make sure if you uh, need more fleet credit earning opportunities to, to check the Armada tab in the fleet window. Um, you can click on all the individual fleets in the Armada and potentially, you know, have some more places that you can donate. Just, just be careful donating things like DOFs or Dilithium. Uh, you know, double check what you're donating before you click the button. But you can... Is the window just broken right now? There it goes. Uh, you can go in and get some other fleet credits from, from those contributions. Yeah, it's a good mark to time ratio, absolutely. Only with a good team, though. Yeah, I wouldn't pug this. An ad, how's it going? Yeah, 95% of the time, the projects only ever need Dill. That's the truth. Documents, how's it going? I would say for if you're looking to to like mix things up and do like a do size setup, I would again, you know, recommend checking out the the builds discord. Um, there is a category on here entirely for EPG and specifically what you guys would want to be looking at is do Psy. Um, there is a bit of discussion that goes on in there and you may find some some useful information most of the time with do people are going to go you know csv but 
Uh, there's probably like a beam overload somewhere in here. Yeah, here's one. Here's a beam overload on the, the trailblazer. So, I mean, people have done it. You'll just have to scroll through that channel to, to find that information. Was I able to do one of the hard elite patrols alone without dying? I think I did on the stream the other day. Didn't I do one on the Akira without dying? Yeah, this thing is small. Like, here it is compared to a Vengeance. Like, it's ridiculous. I can make it look even worse. I can do... Uh, set region FOV space 15. <laughs> now it's just, uh, yeah, this, this is a very, very small ship. Just move in any direction? Yeah. Absolutely. Or hit chemocyte. What an immersive experience. How can I donate to the fleet? Uh, so if you're looking to donate things to a fleet, you just you need to open up the fleet window and go to the holdings tab and then click through and find places that need things um some of these are going to need duty officers some of these are going to need dilithium some of them will need fleet marks energy credits there, there's a variety of things that you can contribute i don't i don't know if i want to know ed Any chance of an ISC or ISA run? Um, sure. Let let me swap over to the Mo guy. Or do I? No. Let let. I'll just do it with this ship. Okay. This isn't gonna be a great run for me on this ship, but you know what? Let's let's just see how it goes. Who's up for for an ISE? I know, Voyager, you're already interested. I already know. Anyone happen to have a tank that they can bring in for, for an ISE? No. Turtle. Oh, no. You can tank. Okay, and CW, you want in? Let me grab you. Go, copy, and paste. On that character, Marker Chief, or... Just let me know when everyone's ready. Okay. Voyager, you don't have to say anything. I already know. Ready? Okay. Uh, turtle, let's let's stop and you can get get close here. What? What have you done to yours? 
Oh, that looks cool. That like a uh, what what shield is that? Yeah, the ship has a hole in the middle. And with whatever Vandy shield turtles run in there, it's like all glass. Terran? I gotta see this. That does look sort of cool. That, the glass aspect of it's cool. Okay, I'm gonna take us into this ISC. Um. CW, you're on cooldown. Your engines, your engines are different. How long is your cooldown? Okay. We need one more then for For this uh, infected, anyone, anyone wanting down an ISC here? Vapor, you want in? What was your at handle again? Wraith, okay. Yeah, I I I know I just had you in the last TFO, it's just I am sometimes terrible at remembering. Remembering at handle. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait, were you not ready? The situation is Yeah, I don't have a lot of things on my tray right now, like all of my T6 rep stuff. I wasn't expecting to take this thing into an infected, so I basically set up to just do a leveling patrol.
Good run. Um, it is a battle cloak. Good tank in there. Sensors confirm that the transwarp conduit has been destroyed. However, our scan Let's see what that parse looks like. Quinton Rojanko, I'm, I'm glad you you enjoyed that. I got about 100k out of the, the plasma fires there, out of a 750k run. I mean, that's, that's not terrible. Um... That's your new DPS record? Well, congrats. The experimental weapon did E4K? Wow. And that thing doesn't even appear to be fully working right right now. That's crazy. 84K off that new experimental weapon? That's pretty good. Um... Everything else looks looks good here too. Like even the console. I mean, the console didn't do much. the The console is basically there for the passives, but like overall, like the the secondary items on the ship seem to be fairly impressive so far. Um, the experimental weapon just like uh, all damage or all plasma damage type buffs. It, it doesn't. It's not impacted by plasma attack consoles, but it is buffed by like plus plasma damage consoles. No, no, that statement was where the, the courier went. And I did say that the difference here is that the secondary items are generally a bit better. I God of Rage, I don't have that exact comparison on hand. So I cannot cannot say, you know, with 100% confidence there. Yeah, it should scale off weapon power. In fact, I can... I mean, that's easy enough to check. Let's, uh... Well, once I'm out of the map. Plasma Bombardier. Plasma Bombardment. Um, if I change my power levels here. Yeah, it's impacted by weapon power. Like most other experimental weapons. Oh, is that an upload for you? It was upload for all of you. Congrats on all the records there. Is the new Odyssey skin in game yet? No, no. Um, they they announced when they did that announcement. They said it wasn't going to be until June. Yeah, the the new Odyssey skin. That that's still a couple weeks out. Yeah, God, well, that's a good point too. The experimental weapon is really good against large targets, and ISC is full of large targets. Captain Wallace, I agree. Jonathan. I think part of the issue was that Bordicus was honestly, I, I think Bordicus was just a little burnt out, but there was a lot of stagnation with ideas and we were getting a lot of repeats. Um, Jonathan has a different set of ideas. You know, he's been working on the team for a long time and it looks like all these ideas he's, you know, probably been bottled up had, that he's bottled up over the past, you know, how many years he's finally able to go in and execute. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the secondaries definitely from the ship are going to keep it at a very high value. I think, like, I haven't done all the math yet, and I'll let the, the more math-focused people, you know, go and cover, cover this on, like, Reddit, but, um, Game Freaks was thinking that in a... Like in an environment where targets can live a long time, 
this trait could potentially push Plasma above Phaser or Disruptor. Now, if you're just doing normal or advanced and you're killing things in, you know, a couple seconds, Phaser or Disruptor are still better. But if you're going up against targets like, say, the Vaudoir and Corfez, and they live for, you know, like 20, 30 seconds, then this trait is going to be able to do quite a bit to them. Uh, yeah, I uploaded it to the table also, Voyager. So if you want to go and uh, download the parts to look at it, it is up there. You were using Surgical Strikes. What's my opinion on the... I... I mean, I think there's a lot of things that are, are quite clearly obvious. Um, I, I think that there's not a lot of engagement in Stowe uh, for, from some of them there, and it really shows on the streams. And I... I mean, the, the 10 forward stuff... You know, less less streams to engage with the Sto community, but realistically, half the streams were Q and A streams, and it was just the same questions over and over and over again with no answer. So I, I think every other week may result in ten forwards that are hopefully a bit more substantive than, uh, you know what we've what we've had with a lot of these Q and A streams. Um, for him getting promoted, you know, good for him. You know, I've no ill will towards the guy. Um, I just I just wish that a lot of the things that have his name attached to it, like the blogs, I just wish that, you know, more effort was put into them. Like, they, they've had a massive set of issues with internal communication for a long time. And, like, he, he should have been sorting out those issues, you know, a year ago when, when they were having internal communication issues. And yet, here we are. They can't even get the lockbox blogs right now. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it's clear. He just doesn't play the game. Like, the, this isn't really... You know, Stowe isn't his passion. And when when that is... The, the when you get that vibe from the you know like someone in that position it it just never really looks good i think he's more passionate probably about some of their their other other products and hopefully you know this gives him a chance to i don't know i don't know let's let's move on Next 10 forward should have a ship reveal if the usual pattern applies, hopefully. I've got I've got the uh the stuff set to the side. Oh no. I bet Kale drives a Pontiac. <laughs> uh Voyager, did you have any let me let's see, Voyager pets. Voyager had a few different things going on, and I don't have pets grouped up here. So, preferences. Group pets, yes. There were Voyager's uh, pet sources. I think it's, uh, I mean, they just released a lockbox. I think it's, it's quite clear. We haven't had a, uh, you know, a promo ship yet this year. And if you have a promo box on you, I think the, the recommendation I can give, uh, to all of you is that you would be very wise to 
keep your promo box on hand right now rather than sell it. Have I tested the new ship yet? Yeah, I've been messing around uh, with it, Michael. I... Terrible. Uh, theories for the T6 patrol escort. I I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with the tail gun, to be honest. that That's what I'm wondering. Wondering about. I need to do what, 10 Herald ships here, so I'm going to go do Blood of the Ancients. Uh, it's in progress. Blood of Ancients. Here we go. Yeah. Zen Kathy, I, you know, all I would say, and, you know, I, I think people are already dropping it in chat here, or dropping some hints, but, uh, you know, we haven't had a promo ship in a while, and I think there was just a, a recent ship, you know, maybe from one of the shows that would probably be iconic enough to go into a promo box. Eight, 18k zen do it no i would say if you have 18k zen wait for the promo event to happen and then just buy the promo packs and sell them on the exchange I need Tetrion damage now. Thankfully, I have my bug ship set up on this character, uh, and apparently that's not what I'm in right now. Promo Shrike incoming. Nah, the, the Shrike is most certainly going to be a lockbox ship. I wouldn't be surprised if they do like an entirely new like Picard lockbox in September um, that has the Shrike as the the grand prize. That That's my expectation is we're getting another Picard lockbox in September. I would be surprised if it's just dumped right into Infinity because that that ship being how iconic it was in that season. Financially, to me, it would make sense for that to be the lockbox ship. Like, of a standalone lockbox. Let's do wanted. Um, if you want quad plasmas, the new Gorn, Hunter Pilot Raider has the, the brand new Gorn version of the plasma quads. Otherwise, I think it's like the T3 Arcala. Of course, my, my tray's, like, completely been scrambled. And I've, couldn't be playing still without that. Any of my crap sold? That's the next question. Yeah, I mean, what I could see is the... I, I can see both the Titan and the Intrepid being promo ships this year. And then some of the other, like, alien ships being lockbox. Okay, nothing sold on this character, it looks like. Unable to take down Sail, that's always great. Yeah, it really sucks when we get new, you know, when we get a lockbox and it doesn't have, like, all the weapons.
Excelsior 2 was Infinity. Let me pull up the wiki page here. And the wiki is taking a long time to load. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 could very much be possible also. Okay, so from from Picard, La Serena went to promo. The the inquiry went promo. The the Sagan went promo. Dude, I can't believe how many comments I still get. Like I've I've said that I I just mispronounce that name quite often, and people still go like nuts and do like full rants in the comment section. Sometime, I've been getting a few recently where it's like, how do you, you know, Carl Sagan was a very notable individual. How do you not understand how to say his name? I, like, people are spending way too much time worrying about how I pronounce that name. The Excelsior lookalike from LD, yeah. So when it go when it's on the the lockbox side here, we had the Delkina from Picard go to Infinity. Um, the Excelsior two. What else? Like, am I missing something? Like, I know the Delkina and the. The E2, but were any of these other words from Picard? I don't think so. Because we had California, which is lower decks, Terran Acheron, that's Stowe, Emerald Chain Discovery, Farragut, and Praetor were Strange New Worlds, Crossfield Refit, Discovery. Yeah, so it's just the, the E2 and the Delkin and the Lockbox from Picard. And the Deimos, yes, yes, good call. Yeah. C gain? Yeah, that, that, that sounds even worse. <laughs> Was the Section 31 cruiser any good? Uh, the Intel Dreadnought cruiser? Like, it wasn't a bad ship. I just didn't recommend it because it's, it's like the... Uh, it's a promo ship, but its stats are basically identical to the legendary Galax. In fact, let me pull that comparison up again. Sortable. Oh, here we go. So the section. And then let's do legendary. Uh, there's a lot of legendary ships now. Okay. So on the left here is the Section 31 Intel Dreadnought Cruiser, which is a promo ship, meaning it's going to cost you like 100 to 150 bucks to get for a single character. And at the right is the legendary Galax, which you can get in the Near Universe Bundle in the Sea Store for $39 during a sale. Both have a Commander Intel. Both have a Lieutenant Commander Command. The the uh, the sea store ship here is a five three weapons layout, whereas the section thirty one is a four four. And if you look at the like the overall setup, I I just I felt like the the legendary Galax had a better setup. It's got more universal seating. So that like. I was very negative about the section 31 and people weren't happy about it. There, there were a couple comments, you know, disagreeing with me 
hating on the ship even before it came out, but I just looked at the stats and it's like, why the hell would I buy this when the legendary Galax is in the C store? It's yeah, it's five, three and better seating. You're paying significantly more to get the section 31 to get a worse platform. Like the, the entire unique aspect of the section 31 Intel dreadnought cruiser is it's got that, that mechanic where the section 31 drones will fly out of the ship and it's got a cloak. Legendary Galaxy can get a cloak. Um, do I think the Titan A will be a standard cruiser? It wouldn't surprise me if it's like a 4-4. Um, but I I would like it if it is a 4-4. I would like it to have something to, to make Fall better. Is the Vodwar Juggernaut out of fashion for DPS? Uh, no name. It is still a very good ship in advanced content. It still is used to set many of the ISA records. Um, and if you're doing like min max cannon stuff, it, it's still used to this day. Especially in ISA. Um, is that a personal spreadsheet I have? No, this is Fleffel's sortable, filterable ship list. Um, I'll drop a link to it in chat here. Um, there's a, like a web page version of this also, but I, I just prefer the spreadsheets. I, I, I like spreadsheets, so that is what I always fall back to. And I appreciate that Fluffle keeps it so up to date. Yeah, exactly, Zor. And you can even get the, the legendary Galax in that mirror pack for 39 bucks, 3,900 Zen. I, that's what I paid when I got mine for for thirty nine bucks. You're you're getting a really good ship. Spreadsheet freak. <laughs> I I don't know what to tell you. I just spreadsheets are are nice. How much DPS does that section thirty one swarm mode mechanic do? Um, I don't have, I don't remember like the exact number. I mean, it can do okay, but I don't think I ever saw people get like more than like a hundred K from it in like a really, really high level run. You know, it's performance is going to scale with how the rest of your build does. Like you might see like 5% of your DPS come from it. But... Um, the other aspect of it, too, is that if it's deployed for a long time, it can make it basically impossible for your team to actually target things. So it does have some, some pretty big issues there. Yeah, I, I've heard things, but... It's too soon for, for me to confirm certain things, but I, I'm hoping if it's, uh, you know, we did see it fire off a lot of beams in that final episode, you know? I'm hoping it's got something for Faw. That, that, that's like, all that I ask is it's got, you know, but some sort of really nice substantial Faw buff on it. Let's see, uh... Officer back. Wrong. These there's some cheap off packs up right now. What are Zulbon cell ships? There's a ton of them posted. Doesn't help, but. Make Fog great again? I think I actually have a character name, but... Yeah, you know what? I gotta get, gotta get a couple keys, right? What a great experience it is buying keys, by the way. I can't believe there were people in the comments, like... Th there was a comment on that video where I was talking about the exchange changes. And someone was like, you know, just stop being lazy. 
Like, what the hell? Like, they actively downgraded the experience. Like, why wouldn't I complain about that? They, they literally made it worse to use the exchange. They just don't get people. Like, all this stuff would have been to put right into my inventory before this update, and now, you know, I got to go through mail by mail because Cryptic couldn't even have put in, like, a take-all option. It's just a lot of extra work that you just didn't have to do before. Yeah, if you, I pinned the comment. If I pin a comment like that, it's because I think the person's being an idiot, and I know that it's it's controversial. So you guys are going to respond to it. And to, to any people, you know, don't like that type of content and leave comments like that, just know you're helping boost that content for me because your comment is creating a lot of other comments that help with the, the YouTube algorithm. And I got nothing from the lockbox. Terrible. <sighs> Exchange is now an RSI, yeah. It's a pain. It really is. Delightfully devilish. Yeah, pinning the controversial comments. I told that the I was talking to McStud last night. And I'm like, he had a comment the other day where this person was just being a dick to him. And I'm like, dude, like he responded to it and he had a funny response. But it's like, man, you just got to pin that stuff because you're going to get so much engagement from other people going in and commenting back. Yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, like, I saw that comment, too, and I was like, I don't care. I don't care if this is how other MMOs work. This is how STO worked for the past 13 years. There was no issue with it, and the system was much simpler to use, and the changes that they pushed out have actively made it worse. Like, I just don't, I don't know what to tell some people. Like, they just want to be combative. Like, there's just some people that go into the comment section and they want to argue. But that's, that. I think that's what's going on. What are very good DOS that boost your damage in space? Um, I mean, there's a few different options there. There's a lot of the Borg DOS. There, there's some good ones there. Just don't go and spend a ton for, like, a 27. Uh, there's some energy weapon officers that will be, that will boost your crit chance and severity. There's also projectile versions if you're on a torp boat. Um, yeah, you've you've got a ton of options out there. I, Darth, I don't know. I don't know who's commented what. Yeah, 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 Quentin. There is. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? You wouldn't know anything about trolls, would you there, Quentin Rojanko? Mr. I'm going to write three paragraphs on a Chevy. A Chevy truck. On a random stove video. Uh, what was my final thoughts on the Gorn Raider trait for Plasma builds? I think it's pretty much, like, moving forward, I think if you're wanting to push Plasma, you know, far, I think the Gorn trait's probably going to be a must-have, but I would just urge you to probably wait until after we see what changes, you know, a patch or two from now. I think the Gorn Raider is a good ship to get if you want to boost up Plasma. It's just, it is very expensive, and you just got to keep that in mind. But it, it will probably be a very good option for people, you know, in future event campaigns. Chevy trucks are great vehicles.
Yeah, if you're pushing plasma meta, this is pretty much a must have. Absolutely. Also, recommendation for all of you in chat. Um, watchers are not going to be having as much supply moving forward. So if you were looking at grabbing any for alts, probably do so sooner rather than later because the, the safe galaxy lockbox, you can't even like the, the supply of it's gone now. You know, you, that lockbox is no longer dropping, correct? Yeah, it's not even in the, the, the lithium store here. So if you're wanting watchers, pick them up while they're still cheap. All things Shrek, how's it going, man? Oh, Sulban sell ship. Nice. So I got my money back from them doff packs. In fact, I doubled my money because I, I bought, I spent like probably 15, 20 mil on the, uh, the doff packs and I just got a Sulban sell ship that is worth like uh, 150 mil. Um, Vegas, I would say for, for that, you open the boxes and then you, you, uh, sell those items to a vendor and you'll get 50% of the EC value back. So you literally just sell them for EC. Yeah, you can do that, Sor. I mean, you can also wait. I, I think there's still a lot of supply of them. I, I went through and I picked up like 200k of the safe galaxy lock boxes and just tossed them in a the bank the other day. Um, and I mean, they're still cheap enough on the exchange. You can go through and do that. Okay, doff wise, did I get anything good out of these? Probably not. Now it's time to donate some DOS to the fleet. Let's not donate the energy weapon officer. Actually, I can just donate to a coffer too, can I? No, it just it doesn't let you. Hmm, I can't see the DOFs it put in there. I need projects that need more DOFs. Can't believe the window's a little bit buggy. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff that is best to just fender. Okay, I am going to delete all these common and uncommon doffs because, to be honest, the, these are too much of a pain to donate to the fleet most of the time nowadays. This is, the filters like still don't fully work, right? I haven't well, I haven't actually tested. Let me check that. Everything just needs dilithium. Yeah. Do these filters actually work to not show certain rarities? Nope. Okay, so we're like six months into that, and that still doesn't work. Gotta love it. Yeah, you can, but... On some characters, I have so many very rare DOS like it would it would be very extensive for me to go through and protect every last one of them you know like on my main trading characters 
I legitimately have like 500 very rare DOFs on those characters. Like, yes, that's too much work. This is why opening DOF packs sucks. I remember um, Nick and I convinced Mixtu to, to do this one time, like to open DOF packs to try and make EC. And he did it, and he's like, I'm never doing that again. So we joked him about it, yeah, joked to him about it every now and then, and he says he's got PTSD from it. Okay, what DOFs did I actually get from these packs I just opened? Nothing of value. Thank you, game. Thank you. All that work to see that I got garbage. Yeah. I did get a cell ship though. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to toss that in the bank with the uh the rest of them. Okay, I want to see what DOFs I have here. Do I have So 21 I think should go up in value with the the plasma dot stuff. 26 definitely. I think 21, 26, and 31 would be the DOS to run with the Plasma build right now. Mr. Elf, open. Oh, I, uh, Mr. Elf. I, uh, I have a thumbnail that I made for, for a meme. I'm not going to show it on stream, but shoot me a message on Discord and I'll, uh, I'll show this high quality thumbnail to you. This is, it's a Triz, Triz thumbnail that I sent to him and he was not happy about. It's like real clickbaity too. Now I guess I could show it on stream. Just know it's a meme and it's not serious, okay? To be clear, this is a meme. There you go. It, we were memeing on him for his inventory. You know, we, we the latest joke is. Um, terrible Voyager. Is his inventory is so full that he's when he's on the game, he's causing the server lag because of all the stuff he has stored in his bank. So. Just toss that together, but I, I just want to be clear. It's not serious. Don't go out and harass him over it. It's entirely uh, a joke. And to, to be completely transparent, my inventory is as bad, if not worse, than what Triz has. Like... It, it, the the amount of items I have in my bank rivals or beats what he has. It's just a fun joke that we uh, bug him about. <laughs> Completely serious reported to Cryptic. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? His uniform inventory breaks the servers? I don't know. Now, I've got a lot of trash in my bank also. If I can get down to the map, I'll show you. Had to max out ship slots just so I could store things? Yeah. I feel that. I was going to go to my bank. 
Why I go? To, I'm so used to going to the exchange. But yeah, I mean, my bank has a lot of useless trash in it, too. Like, I have a lot of Infinity stuff here. My inventory isn't, you know, better. My account bank has a fair bit in it also. Inventory clean stream, 24 hours. Yeah, that that's not even a joke. Probably would take that long. Going through, clicking all the boxes that you have to, like, click the button for over and over again. <laughs> Got all. <laughs> so, um, one of the benefits of this EC change, by the way, the, the like, the EC being mailed to you in the your bank there or in your in your mail i mean um does mean that you could theoretically store 60 billion ec in your in your mail per character so for those of you that have issues storing ec that is an option now is you could have characters where you've po you've posted 40 items up at 1.5 bill per and with them each selling you know that That'd be 60 billion EC sitting in your mail on that character. So this change means you can store a lot more EC on an account. Got to trust Cryptic not to wipe the in-game mail. Yeah, that would certainly be an issue. Oh, I did want to show a deal I got yesterday. Let me just see. Is this normal? Um, was it this one? Yes. So on the topic of like SROs versus watchers and talking about how cheap Romulans can get SROs, here's an SRO and look what I paid for it. <laughs> you get them free from doffing and you also get them real cheap off the exchange when people post them real cheap. Like that's one energy credit for an SRO. Um... Pop some sensor link DHCs. Yeah, I could. Random question. I noticed in one of your videos you dropped out of impulse and like almost instantly had full weapon power. Um that may have been from me having like emergency powered weapons up, or I may not have actually been in full impulse. I may have been moving like I was, but that may have just been me moving from point to point using like emergency powered engines plus evasive maneuvers. The art of the deal, yeah. Imagine getting... Well, another thing I've heard, too, is apparently some people were reporting that once they claimed the item from the mail and then they deleted the mail, that the item would be removed from their inventory and deleted. Nice. Okay, so... Turtle, you want me to open weapon packs for... Sensor-linked phaser cannons? I I don't run Miracle Worker, but yeah, that would be an option. Yeah, Feds, uh, God of Rage, you can get a full team of SROs on a on any anyone now. Um, there's no limitation. But if you're on a non-Romulan, you might want to consider Watchers, especially when they're under 10 million EC per. These Watcher Bridge Officers are, are very competitive and better in some situations than SROs. And you can get them very cheap right now, but that is going to change over time. A couple of months from now, they're not going to be as cheap. So if you want to get some of those Watcher Bridge Officers, you need to be buying them off the exchange sooner rather than later. And if the Watchers do end up going above like... I don't know, 25, 30 mil. 
then it's probably going to be cheaper again to just get the Embassy SROs. Is the Romulan alien better than the other alien characters? I would say so, just because Romulans... The thing with the Romulan faction is that, to this day, the Romulans are still the only ones that can fully, uh, fully go in and boost the cloaking mechanics in the game. You can do some stuff on the other factions, but if you want to fully get the maximum possible uptime on Cloak Ambush, you gotta be on a Romulan or a Romulan faction character. So Rom alien uh, attack is usually what I recommend. Um, we also often refer to that as a rat space shrimp. If you're still around, uh, thank you for coming up with that nickname there, but yeah, rat Rom alien attack. I wonder what their drop rate will be in Infinity. It will be bad. Honestly, there's there's a chance that long term, Safe Galaxy could be the next Borg. It depends on demand for the boffs. Yeah. And the other thing is too, is the World Razor drops from the safe galaxy so that's a lot better than what the borg jug is the world razor like if someone's going into elite content and they ask me you know what is a really good versatile ship to get for elite content right now the world razor world razor can do energy weapons can do torps does both of them extremely well very versatile ship Yeah. Well, yeah, from Infinity, yeah. The the drop rate on things is just terrible now. As a Romulan engineer, should I be focusing on using a cloak? Uh no. If if you you don't need to like force the cloak into your playstyle. Um even if you're not taking advantage of the, the cloak aspects, Romulans also do get very, very cheap superior Romulan operative bridge officers, so uh, you still have some nice benefits being on a Romulan. And there's even still some of the Romulan console and trait packs up on the exchange. Like, there, there's still some, some of the old console and trait packs from way back. Like, you can get the DPRM for under 600 million on a Romulan. You can go get the DPRM console without buying the ship. By getting one of these console packs. There's not a ton remaining, but they are there. Yeah, I completely agree. The Infinity Lockbox needs to be completely reworked now. Make it like the uh, the Phoenix store. Are the Jemadar Vanguards the best bridge officers? Uh, that's entirely situational dependent. Um, Jemadar bridge officers are, the Vanguard ones, are really good on a pure weapon-based build. But the moment you start to incorporate non-weapon abilities into your build, they're going to fall behind SROs or Watchers. I did an Infinity complaint recently. In all things Shrek... Yeah, it is a bit of a grind. So I do want to get some videos out near term to talk about ways to, to get EC. Uh, when did I do this Infinity video? Videos. I've probably already went past it. Oh, no, here it is. Yeah, so half a year ago, I did a video going over the Infinity Lockbox having issues, and Kale, like, I, I tweeted it to Kale, and, like, they, he said that they, they agree, like, some of the issues I raised were quality of life issues, and they would look into it, but, I mean, six months later, nothing's happened.
It's weird. I'm looking back. Some of these thumbnails, like, I think some of these, like, still look good. I don't really do this gold stuff with the text anymore, though I, I did think that looked good on some of these. The, the issue with, like, that gold stuff there was it just wasn't always... It just wasn't always consistent. Like, it would look good sometimes. Here, let me, let me show you. I just add some text. Like, when I would do this sometimes, the, the gradient, I thought, you know, would look fine. Um, but there were others just did not look good. Especially zoomed out, because, like, up close, it almost always looked good. But... Oh, this looks terrible with what I'm doing right now. So it would like sometimes it would look good, but then sometimes it just was mediocre. And this isn't repeating right now, so it's screwed up. Repeat. I don't know. This this gold stuff point I'm trying to make here is I thought it looked good for a little bit for some of the stuff, but I don't really do it much anymore. What program do I use to make the thumbnails? I use GIMP. Um, when I'm going to make a thumbnail, like, let me give an example. Let me, let me get a thumbnail for this corn ship real quick. Let me, uh, let me go down and take a, like a high quality picture of it. Let me show you guys how I would make a thumbnail. Terrible turtle. I don't know. Probably something like this. Just, uh... For that, go into render scale two. Turn on. Back out of this. And then if I go to GIMP here. With YouTube thumbnails, you want to do 1280 by 720. So I would get that background from my stole folder as soon as it loads. Where is it? Live. So what I would do here Now I gotta get rid of that green, so I would do off channel color tool. Everything's so small over on this monitor. I can't even see the, the numbers over here. No. Yeah, that removed most of the green, it looks like. So then I would put some background in. Let me find one from here. The view of the picture is a little bit larger. Let's say I like this jelly background or something. I would do is drag this in. Select none. Oh, that looks funky. I'm going to have to fix that corn. The, uh, the selection was good enough. Hold on. Let me go back. Sometimes that happens when you're selecting the, uh, 
the, the colors here like that you want to remove it just sometimes does not get everything so let me how far do i have to go with the threshold here And there's still a little bit of green, but I don't think I can remove that. Let's just go with that as is. It's going to be messy, but just doing an example here. You always want to get something that, you know, looks catchy. So this jelly background, like I've used this a few times and I think it looks good for the background. I could just use different parts of the, the picture, given how large the original source was. Well, that looks good. And then for the text. Probably something like that. Make sure each of these words are on their own line. Give a little space between the letters. This over just a smidge. And I probably wouldn't I'd make that italic. Here we go. And add in a little bit of a shadow behind it. Put that behind the text. And then I could change the color of some of the text. So if I wanted to have review in gold, I could do that. And then do like Gorn Hunter in gold also. Or yellow there. Like that that right there would probably be a fine thumbnail. Gorn Hunter Pilot Raider Review. And just export. Um, let's do Gorn Review. Needs more Triz face, terrible. And then just like that, I go to pictures. There you go. Like just like that, like there's there's a thumbnail. Can that open TGA files? That might. That would probably make the process a little bit easier. But like there, there's a thumbnail for the, the Gorn. I, I do it all in GIMP. GIMP is a free program. I think if you're on Plasma, the Gorn is very much a ghost ship. I, I think you, you go for it if you're on Plasma. If you're not on Plasma, you know, don't don't go and change everything to, you know, to go and get it. But most certainly, if you're on Plasma, then I would highly, highly recommend getting it. Yeah, I think that, that honestly, right there, that'd work for a thumbnail for me. Like, I might even just use that for, for the review. Photoshop. Yeah, but GIMP, I'm used to using GIMP now, so I I don't mind. I, I don't mind using it. Like it's, I, I've got a workflow in it that I'm used to for, for when I'm doing something like this, and it, it works well for me, so. Unlike Cryptic, you know, why why change something if it's working for me? Yeah, definitely. It's a KDF ship. Definitely. If you want to see more KDF ships, then, you know, definitely consider picking this up to, to support getting more KDF ships in the future. Absolutely. Just don't be lazy. Terrible. I won't lie. That comment, I thought about responding, but I, I sat back and I was like, you know what? I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to pin it and I'm going to let you guys do the response for me. 
And that seemed to work pretty well, to, you know, to be perfectly honest. You guys went in and said some some nice things, had a productive conversation. Okay, you really want me to open sensor link weapon packs? Yeah, this is this is one of the things I complained about in that video going over the uh the Infinity Lockbox is that this experience just absolutely sucks. So I need Oh, is it discover it's just no it's it's been so long it's discovery right pretty sure it's discovery just want to see me get no sensor linked yeah, it's been a while since I've opened weapon packs, to be honest. I'm having, I, I thought it was Discovery, but, you know, I'm just having that self-doubt because it's been, been a while. To be honest, I haven't even been opening that many lockboxes this year uh, compared to previous years, just because I just haven't really felt like playing the market. Um, Warp Core, the recent one where I talked about the exchange, it's the top pinned comment, if you want to see what I was referring to. The, the news video. Um, some of the news videos I've done recently, I've been trying to not necessarily have them labeled as news. Uh, I would just have like a, a top one of the topics as the title. That one was more of like a hybrid just to, to try it out, but... I'm just just trying to see what you know what does well, what doesn't. You want me to do phasers, right? Yeah, well, if you were doing disruptors, you'd be stupid to not go spiral wave. Need more agony. Yeah, yeah, um, if I go, go get more agony, I'm going to need some, some different results from the, the next test I do, because. I got some. Uh, sort here look turtle there you go turtle they're posted huge discount just for you It's just the experience. Like, it, it sucks. You know, use or opening Infinity Lockboxes right now, it just honestly sucks. So, not a ton of motivation there. Okay. I am going to wrap things up for today's stream. Um, hopefully, you guys have uh, learned about the, the fun that is the Gorn Hunter Pilot Raider. Again, it's a good ship if you're a Plasma player. But if you're not a Plasma player, then probably not something that I would go, you know, go out and go crazy, you know, trying to get. Got two sensor link Dominies? Yeah. Viridian turrets? Terrible. Uh, why do we need... Why do we get so many kits and modules from Infinity? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Okay, reminder quick... Um, there are, are some giveaways up on Discord. So there's one on my personal Discord for T6 Coupon. This ends in two weeks. Over on the Builds Discord, we then have, let's see here. 
We have a giveaway that ends in two hours on the builds discord for some of the new charged positron matrix bomb universal consoles. These are the new ones that were added to infinity. Um, they sort of suck, but you know, maybe if you're on a mine build, you might like them. And then in four days, we have a T6 coupon that will be given away on the builds discord. So make sure to join both of those discords linked down in the description below and enter those giveaways if you're interested. Enjoy mail. Ow. Terrible. Terrible. Okay. Thank you all for tuning in. I will see you guys around. Oh, and uh, members only video coming out tomorrow, going over how I went from zero EC to 2 billion on a character last year. Um, and there will also be a general public video going over the Leviathan TFO once I have time to get that fully pieced together. So thanks all for tuning in. See you guys around.